Ghost Hunting in New England, your favorite spooky podcast. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Ghost Hunting in New England with your hosts, Amelia and Beth. And we're doing something extra, extra fun today. We're on the road. That that vrooming sound that you hear from the engine, that's Amelia driving at like 85 miles an hour, zooming through traffic. If we don't live, let this be our last recording. If we don't live, we put it on to you, our listeners, to come hunt us. And, yeah, and carry on the ghost hunting tradition. Form your own podcast. Call it Amelia and Beth's Memory. Eat lots of donuts. Oh, lots of donuts. For those of you that don't know, Boston Donut Fest is coming on July 28th, and I am so hoping that we are going to be there and have our own little table, and you guys can maybe come meet us. We'll be there. I don't know if we're going to secure the table this year. <laughs> <laughs> maybe next year. We might just be walking around eating all the donuts. So so look for you know the, the two chubby girls with donuts just smeared ear to ear. and We'll be there. Yeah. <laughs> You'll find us. It'll, it'll be easy to find us. You can wear your hat. I can wear my hat. I'd rather be ghost hunting hat. Look for the two people, one of them wearing an I'd rather be ghost hunting hat. I will probably be wearing all black. Okay, so we're on the road. We're headed up. We are going to... The... Watch out for that car, Amelia. Ah! We are heading to the <laughs> fine state of New Hampshire. Live free or die, baby. We're coming for ya. We, we would rather live free and make it all the way to the restaurant, Amelia. <laughs> we will, um... We're we're beating this traffic, Beth. Next time I'm driving. <laughs> so we're headed to the Windham restaurant in Windham, New Hampshire, which is in southern New Hampshire, right on the border. This is a super haunted restaurant. Uh, they're very open about it. They have a section on their website about it. I've called twice now trying to speak to management about us doing a ghost hunt here. They have not gotten back to us. So we're going to harass them in person tonight. So we made reservations <laughs> <laughs> and we're just going to have a nice dinner, relax. You know, it's Friday night, get a load off. It's been a long week. It's been a hot week and we're going to make them tell us about the ghosts. <laughs> so, and maybe we'll see some. Maybe. I brought the camcorder and I have my thermometer and our little notebook. And did you bring I, the, your K2 reader? My K2 is always in my purse because you never know. So you never know when a ghost is going to pop up. We have all of our equipment. We are very simple ghost hunters. We're simple. We're here. We're doing it. Let's get a ghost. <laughs> so, Beth, do you want to tell our listeners what's on their website? Uh, they have lots of stuff on their website. They have, like, menus and they have contact information. Um, you can buy gift cards for them. Um, but I think that what Amelia is actually referring to is the spot that says, quote, spirits of the Wyndham restaurant. And so they're not talking about the tequila and rum kind of spirits. Although I'm hoping they have some. I'm sure they do. Let's hope. Um, it starts off and it talks about the sign. I'm back to the, the website here. Uh, the sign over the door of the Wyndham restaurant says food and spirits. And that may be truer than you think. Ba -da -da. The restaurant occupies an old house built around 1812 by the Dinsmore family. The house was home to Isaac and then Horace Dinsmore for many years. But who else has lived in this house? And more importantly, who is haunting it now? Ba -da. All right. Three restaurants have occupied the house. The first was a Thai restaurant. I love Thai food. Yum. I love Thai food. Yeah. If you guys have recommendations oh for good gosh. Thai restaurants in the New England region, we are all ears. Or if you need a good recommendation for a Thai restaurant, I know some in every state in England because I really love it. That's impressive. <laughs> I really do. I get Thai food all the time. All right. Sorry. Back to the, the website here. Um, three restaurants have occupied the house. The first was a Thai restaurant, then a French, and finally the Windham restaurant. The staff of each has experienced some, quote, unusual events. The, quote, spirits singled out the blonde waitresses of the French restaurant. Good thing neither one of us is a blonde. Not right now. They would feel their hair being played with by some unknown entity. It would also unclasp their jewelry. Oh, I man. I, I didn't bring anything with clasps tonight. I have a necklace on, yeah. Well, we'll see. Let's, we'll see. Yeah. I'll play with it a lot so the ghost, like, knows it's on. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
The New England Ghost Project witnessed one such event. While an investigation was underway, one of the waitresses experienced a cold chill, and then her necklace just fell off her neck for no apparent reason. She became hysterical and began to cry. Can't blame her. This was not the first time it had happened, and she was getting tired of it. However, this wasn't the only game it liked to play. I almost feel like I'm reading about that clown in the Stephen King book. I feel like we're hearing about a Me Too lawsuit of, like, harassing blonde waitresses. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't funny, but... It's not funny, but, like, it's a ghost. I don't know. <laughs> right. Like, how, how do you right. enforce that? Okay. Sometimes the staff would come in early in the morning, and then they would find the chairs on the second floor turned around facing the window like someone was watching a parade. The place settings would also be moved so the forks and knives were crossed like an X. Nice. Spooky. Spooky. Perhaps the most dramatic example of moved objects happened to a bunch of empty boxes wrapped like Christmas gifts. They were once found suspended from wall to wall in midair above the staircase on the third floor. I need to know more about that. I do too. I had read this earlier and I, I was like, why don't they have more about that incident? <laughs> that <laughs> I, th- that literally, it's the only sentence. It's one. They gave it one sentence and it deserves that entire page. Uh, yes, we need like interviews and we need quotes from people. And why aren't there any pictures of that? Exactly. That to me seems like the type of thing that you walk in and you see boxes suspended midair. Like you take a picture. Yeah. Your phone is out. You are photographing. Yeah. If nothing else, you're sitting down like one of those sketch artists in the courtroom drawings and like, drawing <laughs> what you see. <laughs> All right. Another time, the mock Christmas boxes were stacked like towers. And on yet another occasion, a key to the third floor disappeared, only to turn up later, jammed in a window frame. That, to me, is not spooky. That last one. That, to me, is a rodent. That, to me, is a staff member who just mad, forgetful, doing something stupid. But, like, jammed in a window frame like that? I've had people tell me they've lost their key before, and I later will find it broken off in the lock. Because they left it in there and didn't take it out, and, like, a delivery person came by and broke the key off. Or they just broke it and didn't want to tell you? Either way, it takes an hour out of my day that I don't appreciate. <laughs> all right. Carrying on with the website. This is all very... This part is very, very... Sp- Sorry, that, no, that's the, (laughs) that's our dash cam making that noise. That's not a ghost. Is that because that car just cut you off? Yeah, it it does that when a new thing floats into frame. Oh. Yeah. Strange. Okay, anyway. All right. This is all very interesting, but had anybody seen the spirits? The answer is an astounding yes. Woo! In addition to the staff, several customers also reported seeing the spirits. We are hope to be among those several customers by yes. later tonight. Uh, a little boy was seen in the second floor wait station. A girl was seen wandering around the restaurant. And Jacob, a name given to the spirit by the wait staff, was seen several times. These strange happenings continue to plague the current owners of the establishment, now known to its patrons as the Wyndham Restaurant. When the current owners opened the Wyndham Restaurant, strange things continued to occur. On one occasion... Uh, the owner looked in, looked on in shock after a shrimp disappeared from a plate he was preparing in the kitchen. Ghosts? I don't know about that. That's... That sounds more like hungry wait stuff. Yeah, that's that doesn't sound too spooky. At other times, expensive dishes flew off the kitchen shelves and shattered. Wine glasses in the bar sailed across the room and smashed onto the floor. Windows that were closed would later be found opened. Lights would turn on, seemingly of their own accord. Electrical problems plagued the restaurant. Have we ever talked about electricity being kind of a, a hallmark of, of have, paranormal have activity? Have we? I don't I, know. I, it sounds vaguely It sounds familiar. like something that might have come up on the podcast every episode so far, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. These spirits were getting costly. Once again, the staff, as well as patrons, saw Jacob, or the man in the blue suit. In fact, one time... Lula saw what she thought was a man falling down the stairs, but when she ran to help him, he had disappeared. Oh my god, it's pouring now. I know, it's just it's pouring. To rain. <laughs> it was just sunny a second ago. <laughs> oh, that New England weather. Footsteps and little children, I'm gonna kind of yell now. Footsteps and little children's voices can sometimes be heard reverberating, that's a great word, from the second floor. But when the staff goes upstairs to investigate, there is no one to be found. Ba-da-da! 
No floor of the restaurant is free from paranormal activity. Even in the cellar, a man's voice has been heard by the employees calling out to them. The New England Ghost Project has investigated the restaurant several times, and what have they discovered? Their psychic investigators had several run-ins with the spirits of the Wyndham. She discovered that the boy's name is William and that Jacob died of a heart attack and possibly fell down the stairs. Through trance mediumship, it has come to the team's attention that Jacob's unrest may be contributed to papers buried somewhere in the confines of the cement cellar. Several EVPs, photos, and videos have captured the strange phenomena at the restaurant, including a photo of a little boy whose image disappears into a beam of light. There is also a video taken of a door opening by itself. Spooky. Is the Wyndham haunted? Yes. All evidence... (laughs) (laughs) Yes, it is. (laughs) All evidence points to three or four spirits, but the investigation continues. For more information on the investigation of the Wyndham restaurant, go to neghostproject.com. Or keep listening to this podcast. We're here. We're in the Wyndham restaurant. We have been seated. We are on the second floor. There are a lot of rooms in this restaurant. Beth, first impressions. The people at the table next to us must think we're nuts. Yet little do they know how nuts we really are. I walked around the upstairs. There are three different dining rooms in the upstairs. There's a big dining room downstairs as well as a bar. There are some spooky photos, not photos, paintings downstairs. I've taken some pictures of them. There's a big mirror here that I think should be good for some some spirit viewing soon. That's why I took the picture of you with the mirror in the back. <laughs> All right, we'll update you soon. Could I please have the hummus plate? Can I have the eggplant roulette? And then uh, can I have the Wyndham chicken? Have you experienced anything spooky here? Um, yeah, I've been here a while, so a few things that I would like to get. Um, one time it was really dark at first, we just closed down, but I was walking by this room. So I peeked into the, the doorway, but then I, I got spooked and I went to run. And there's a closet right there. And yeah. the other side of the door, the door flew open and stopped me in my face. Coincidence is just a little too, like, wow. like I get too spicy. And it was in this room, I got an EVP once. Oh, wow. Time. Yeah, what did they say? And I found it, I'm like, oh, all right, if anyone's here, so we get to, you know, the red light. And I looked down, and like, my screen was, and I said, oh, I need green light. And between me, me saying red light, oh, I need green light, I'm sorry, Daddy. As plain as Daddy. Wow. I have that little recorder somewhere. <laughs> oh, my God. one of those wow. battery ones. I don't even yeah. think they need yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was so weird. Oh, that's yeah, wild. It's like incredible. Yeah. 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 Other people have yeah. witnessed stuff, too, with, you know, with me. Which yeah, yeah. Which is cool when we, like, experience it together uh-huh. when we see out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. So you just get in the hummus as your dinner? Yes, please. And did you want to start up with a roll or did you do one together? Um, and then chicken, like everything in the kitchen? Would you be able to have a Not at all. With them? Not at all. All right, great. Thank you. All right, we finished dinner. Beth, what did you think of dinner? Dinner was good, but we still have not seen any ghosties. We have seen no ghosts. My hummus plate was excellent. My pasta was really good, but still no ghosts. No voices, no specters. Just the voices of all the people around us. Also, I have to go to the bathroom, so I might go do that first. All right, we'll update you later. Okay, this is Amelia. I told Beth I was going to the bathroom. Really? I'm doing an EVP. Is there anyone here who can hear us? Are there any spirits here in this restaurant? Do people often use this random shower in the bathroom? Of the three restaurants who are here, Thai, French, then Wyndham, which was your favorite? I'm going to go back to Beth now. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, excuse me. So this is Beth, and I'm in the bathroom. 
I told Amelia that I had to go use the bathroom when she came back, but really I came to do an EVP. And so I wanted to do an EVP in here and just see if I can get anybody to talk to me. And I'm on the second floor at the Wyndham restaurant in New Hampshire. If there's any spirit here that would like to talk,